sorry. Should we go in, bud? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> he went to bed not sounding like this. Joel and I are getting ready for bed, and I mean, he just can't even breathe. Let's go take in. I'm sure he's got strep just like me and you. I'm sure. Didn't slow him down any today, but. It's catching up to him though. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. wouldn't be able to sleep knowing he can't breathe. Oh yeah. Well, let's go take you in, bud. Come on. I'll get dressed. Should we go to the doctor's? No. Should we go into the doctor's right now? No. I know. Yeah, he sounds bad. My little baby, I feel so bad. I'm sorry, Joel. Okay. He just... Bye. He just did not sound good at all. Like Joel and I both, neither of us would be able to sleep if we didn't take him in. Oh, I just feel terrible. We can't go home, bud. We gotta get you fit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's go in here and I'll find you a nice treat, okay? Can you see those numbers? Look, this right here is telling that what to do. It's telling those your numbers. And it says that your oxygen is good. She said your oxygen's good. So that's good news. It means you are breathing good. But she says they've got respiratory here because they've seen this all week long and all night. So that's good. That's good news. Maybe we didn't need to come in. I don't know. But it's one of those things that's like, I'm not going to sleep good. And Bonnie's not going to sleep good. And if there's something that we can do to help him, we should. Because he sounds pretty rough. I mean, he sounded pretty rough. And he's normally so easy to console, but he is so sad. Mm. I know, bud. Can you show me your sticker? The sucker? Yeah. Tastes like what? Pineapple. Tastes like pineapple. Mm -hmm. So the doctor just came in and said it. He's like, it's pretty sure it's croup. And he said that's why he's actually talking and sounding better right now than he did, say, 10 minutes ago. Because he went outside, but he goes, that's not a long-term fix for it, you know? He's like, he will need a steroid, so they're going to give him a steroid tonight. And then he'll send us with a prescription for one for two days later, just for a possibility to use. Because he says it flares up in two days, usually, if it's going to flare up. So, but he's doing a lot better right now. He's a little happier. Like, he said to sleep. <coughs> have him or close the vent in his room tonight when he goes to bed so that's cold and then he said also if you do a humidifier do a cold air one which I think we have one of those as well so so it's good they're gonna treat him real quick and then we'll be home in probably 45 minutes I'm thinking is like a $400 ER visit worth having him lay on me absolutely totally worth this right now Sounds so much better. Yeah. Because we were just out in the cold. Yeah. So, so, so the doctor gave me two strawberry popsicles. What else did they do? this answer yeah, yeah you, you are can you tell everybody good night yeah I'm so glad you're home you have a good daddy do you know that yeah you have a good daddy Lincoln how was your night okay, Mom. it was good yeah. you slept so good yeah. 
Guess who didn't sleep good? What? Mommy. Because I was worried about you and I could hear you breathing. Yeah, that's what wasn't breathing. That's what wasn't what? It wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty, was it? No. <laughs> it wasn't pretty. That's funny. Did you know that it's snowing outside right now? And that it is, oh, so super cold outside. It's just snowing and blowing. Yep, that is in there. We got two green. They're not green. <laughs> well, we got two browns. We do have two browns. Okay, this is what we settled on for breakfast after lots of crying. You can see I'm working over here. That's my little setup. And he's gonna have a little setup over here of ice cream. Do you want me to dish you up some? That's a cute ice cream scoop. That's usually what I do cookies with, but we could do it for ice cream. Should we do that? Here's a spoon. Is this what we do when kids yeah. are sick? Yeah. Is we get ice cream for breakfast? So I can get you need a what? Oh, oh, <laughs> did you see him push? Mama's gonna do it. Please don't push Mama's hands away. That was really naughty of you, actually. <laughs> wow. Sometimes I know when I'm gonna get flack in the comments, and sometimes I care, and sometimes I don't. Ice cream for breakfast, I really don't care, because when you're sick, you can have whatever you want for breakfast. Huh. Yeah. And sometimes people think that I let you get away with everything. And on camera, they're totally right. But heaven knows that is not the, ow, ouch! Heaven knows that is not the actual case. <laughs> if I did, he would be a much worse child. <laughs> huh, Lincoln? Are you kind of naughty sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Naughty kids usually make pretty fun adults. Yeah. Naughty kids with strict parents usually make pretty good adults. Because <laughs> they're fun, but they know how to like work. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a little bit of discipline in there. I'm probably overly confident in my parenting skills. You can tell by this one-sided conversation. Okay, there you go. But a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Yeah, that's probably not quite. <laughs> it's a little scoop, okay? <laughs> You're strong. I am strong. I am strong. See, this is mommy's breakfast. This is avocado toast, and usually Lincoln loves to eat it with me, huh? But just not this morning. It probably wouldn't feel good on your throat. Does that feel good on your throat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's cold, so it'll open up your little airways. Yeah. I would like to make a public service announcement that my day is officially all the way canceled because I have a sick child and my sick ice cream eating child wants to go to bed at 9.45 in the morning and he wants mama to lay with him. Just gonna set this camera up in the window and before I move on I'm going to fix the window since my sick child decided to mess with the blinds even though this sick child knows that I hate when he messes with the blinds. Thinking I can't even fix this. What's going on? All right, Dad's gonna have to fix this. Unfixable by Mom. All right, you want me to hop in bed with you? Are you gonna go to sleep or are we just cuddling? Yeah. We're going to sleep. Well, this is excellent news for me because I would love to take a nap. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Boy, howdy, if this isn't heaven, I don't know what it is. Hallelujah. Are we going to take a nap? Mm -hmm. Can I sleep on doggy too? Yeah. <gasps> yes. Blinking. 
<laughs> oh, I thought I was on doggy by the smell. <laughs> hey, I got the most uncomfortable part. I don't want to sleep on his head. I'll lay on his face like this. Oh, oh, thank you. Wow. This is. I'll just sleep right here under the tail. <laughs> okay. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. We're going to take a little snoozer. Snoozer. We're going to take a snoozer. Guess what? I see a big old boogie on your wall. Did you wipe a booger on your wall? No. A booger right. That's your cold sore. No. Isn't that sad? No. It looks like blood. Good night, everyone. We're going to take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> Lincoln, 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 do you love me? Lincoln, 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 do you care? Lincoln, I've been thinking of you. Lincoln, 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 do you care? That took one song. Well, nap time is over, and I know that I'm a little tilted on the screen because the camera stand is a pair of jeans. <laughs> so while I fold Lincoln's laundry and put it away, I... I, not a confession, but just, I just, this is what I was thinking about when I was laying there scratching Lincoln's back and kissing him and loving him. I thought, this is not how it's always been. <laughs> Sometimes when my kids were little and they were sick, I was more annoyed than I was sympathetic. And I think that is super, super common. I went to bed and cried many, many nights because I knew that instead of taking care of my kid that was sick and instead of laying there and loving him, I just didn't have the energy in me to do that. Like I just didn't have it in me to take care of that kid and instead I just sent him downstairs to watch a movie or something and it was kind of hard. I don't know. I just, you go through many different seasons with motherhood and I think that you just need to take each season as they come and do the best you can and you just get by. Kids are very um, forgiving. Children are very, very forgiving and so you, you can't really go too wrong. As long as they know you love them, I think you're doing a good job and that's that's all that matters. So I'm gonna close today's sick vlog <laughs> on that note with just like a vote of confidence for moms out there that they're that just trying to flipping do the best they can. I don't know how single mothers do it. I don't know. I don't know how single mothers do it. So for you single mothers out there, you are doing a good job. Whether you're doing a good job or not, you're doing a job and that's like all that matters. So keep doing what you're doing. Love you mamas out there and all those sick little babies out there <laughs> and their hard boiled stinky eggs. <laughs> Can you say goodbye to everybody? Say give the vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you want to give Lincoln some well wishes, give the vlog a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to our channel, we'd love to have you. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys. Say bye. Can you say bye? He says bye.